Hi, I'm Steve Jones and I'm going to explain the carbon cycle. The carbon cycle has always existed. It's always existed because we and the plants on this earth are all organic. They're based on carbon. So all of our muscles, all of our flesh, tissues, bone is basically composed of carbon or compounds of carbon. So what happens? Well, first of all, let's look at a tree. A tree is a very simple device. It, it is able to absorb energy from the sun. And in absorbing that energy, it uses carbon dioxide and water to produce energy, to produce sugars. And we benefit from that because we can eat the trees or the products of growing things to live. We can't do, we can't make our energy directly from the sun. So in the carbon cycle, we have trees and they absorb carbon dioxide. Actually, at night they don't because they can't photosynthesize. So actually at night, they actually respire just like human beings do. But during the day, they absorb carbon dioxide and emit oxygen. And they keep the balance of our atmosphere. Now, when trees die, they decay. Methane, which is a carbon product, CH4, carbon with four hydrogens, methane goes into the atmosphere. This is also a carbon-based material. Or if wood is burnt, uh, and nowadays it's burnt in large power stations, this puts carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. So what we've got here is the trees are used to create energy which creates carbon dioxide, goes into the atmosphere and that carbon dioxide is absorbed by trees and this is the carbon cycle. It continues, it goes on forever. The problem is if we cut down the trees then we have got a big problem because we've got carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and that carbon dioxide is going to increase with time and we're going to have no way of controlling the amount of carbon dioxide. And this is what we call global warming, because the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is increasing. And our carbon cycle is being disturbed by our putting too much carbon dioxide, especially due to these particular things, which you probably recognize as cars, because cars are a natural producer of carbon dioxide, a heavy producer of carbon dioxide, and they are what is responsible for the big increase in the carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere. So basically, simply, that is what we mean by the carbon cycle.